Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a proper horse race. And of course, I'm talking about not horse racing, but truck sales. Um, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how Ford, General Motors, and Ram is, are going against each other in the United States for pickup truck supremacy during a very, very tough time. So right here on tfltruck.com website, I just recently published the entire sales report and there are a couple of interesting things going on. Very, very close, close sales numbers. So one thing I wanna point out first is the Ram trucks um, actually outsells the Chevy Silverado. 156,157 Rams versus 147,484 Silverados specifically. Both of them are down um, a little bit uh, compared to last year, third quarter, but the Silverado is still outselling Ram for the year, year to date over the last nine months. But so it's kind of up and down. Um, yes, and of course, Chevrolet Silverado is not the only GM truck. There's also the GMC Sierra, and the Sierras are doing really well. These are both 1,500 half-ton trucks and also heavy-duty trucks. Look, they're growing year over year, even amidst factory shutdowns, recovery from shutdowns, supply constraints, etc. Uh, 67,000 here in the quarter and 174,000 right here for the year. And when you combine all this, when you combine all of the uh, GM truck sales, look at this, 589,295. That is more than Ford sold Ford F-Series by about 261 trucks. So very, very close. You can see Ford is declining about 11%. GM is growing about 2.3%. Ram trucks in this case also declined about 13%. But just look how close this is. Ford still sold 221,000 F-Series in the quarter for Q3 from July to through September. So they're still number one as far as quarter is concerned, but they're being very challenged year to date. And of course, Ford is very proud of their sales leadership through the years and recent decades. So this is, you know, this is very interesting. Um, I think what's gonna happen now is gonna be a lot of kind of pricing wars as far as how many trucks, uh, what kind of discounts uh, you can get, how many trucks you can sell. Uh, I don't have Toyota numbers right now. Toyota um, hasn't reported all their sales numbers yet, so the Tundra, I don't have the number for that. The Nissan Titan is not doing too well. Um, it did sell about 7,207 trucks in this quarter, Q3. It was down a little bit, and it was down fairly, quite a lot actually, uh, year to date in 2020. About 19,403 trucks just, just this year over the nine month period. So that's the Titan. If you look at uh, GM trucks, because they actually break them down f by each classification, um, you could see there's a trend of their heavy duty trucks are actually growing significantly in sales, including their bigger medium duty uh, class four, five, and six trucks as well. Their half tons are struggling, but their heavy duty trucks, including the Sierra heavy duty, the new ones, and the Silverado heavy duty, uh, they're actually propping up the sales. They're growing quite significantly by about 10% year over year, even during all these really, really tough economic times and manufacturing times as well. So, yes, yeah, so there's a lot of uh, close competition going on here. I think it's very interesting. Um, it's good to be a consumer actually right now. If you do need a new truck, um, there's probably a lot of deals going on and you can actually get yourself a brand new truck for uh, a pretty good deal. Let's turn our attention really quickly to mid-size trucks. The Tacoma numbers, like I said, this, this, um, Toyota hasn't reported yet, but look at what's happening here uh, right behind the Tacoma. Uh, Ranger, 28,350 on the quarter growth. Chevy Colorado 27,256 decline uh, for the quarter compared to last year. And look at how close they are as well. About 1,100 trucks separate them. Um, and Ford is currently number two. Um, and it's, it's gonna, it may challenge Tacoma eventually, but of course Tacoma sell just huge numbers still. Uh, right there in fourth place right now, Jeep Gladiator, 22,000 trucks for the quarter, still very significant growth, but the truck is brand new. It hasn't been around for uh, just about over a year. And you can see the year-to-date 
sales numbers are also very, very close. Nissan Frontier has been declining. Uh, the 2021 Frontier hasn't shown up yet, so that's of course a little bit difficult for Nissan. 7,200 7, trucks for the quarter and 26,000 for the year. Um, I don't have a Honda Ridgeline number yet, and the GMC Canyon is also declining. Of course, the Chevy Colorado and GMC Canyon have just made some refreshes and updates for 2021 with new fascias, new options, a couple of new tweaks. The GMC Canyon 84 is now out. The ZR2 has a brand new face. And we recently uh, did a video featuring the new Colorado ZR2 for 2021 on our TFL Off-Road channel. So all of that stuff is there. Um, and also you could see this is very interesting because the Ford Ranger and the Jeep Gladiator have recently just joined this uh, fight because uh, before 2019, they weren't around at all. So, so one of the things that may be happening here is that mid-size trucks are taking a little bit of sales away from the full-size truck guys, uh, like the F-Series trucks, the Silverados, etc., etc. cetera. Et cetera. Uh, but, but also, I think the entire segments of trucks are growing still. So there's more room in the midsize segment. Um, I don't know what Ram is gonna do if they will ever bring the Dakota to this party and actually try to get some of these sales also. But of course, Hyundai is um, rumored uh, that they will still unveil their Santa Cruz compact pickup truck. And then Ford is also working on their Ford Maverick compact pickup truck. So we will, I think we will see a lot more kind of action in the space. And it doesn't bode well for sedans and coupes. Um, SUVs are still doing well. We're, I'm gonna do, um, well, actually tflcar.com has a lot more sales data uh, right there for cars, sedans, and crossovers, and SUVs. And I'm also gonna publish um, the SUV sales report and also the van, commercial van sales report on tfltruck.com. So if you wanna see uh, all those numbers, dig in and go to tfltruck.com for all of the latest uh, news. Um, and of course, um, I also want to mention that we have our new channel, TFL Bike, that, um, on YouTube. So if you go to YouTube, punch in TFL Bike, uh, we have a lot of news going on there, right here. And we also have our TFL Talk YouTube channel, which is our podcast channel. So all of those things are there. So guys, thank you, and like I said, go back to tfltruck.com for all the latest news, not just sales related, but also testing and off-roading.